Okay, so to kick things off, we're gonna create a fresh Laravel project. I'm gonna do this on the command line directly with Composer, and we're just gonna run the create project command. We'll pass in Laravel here, and we'll just give this a name. So let's call this WebSockets. Okay, that's pulled down. Let's go into the WebSockets directory here. I've got this open in my text editor, and let's head over to EMV and just change over the database connection settings, just so we can migrate everything. Uh, the database here is called WebSockets and the username for me is Alex Garrett Smith and the password is just empty. So if we head over and run PHP Artisan Migrate, that should migrate all of them for us. Great. Now what we want to do is just set up the base scaffolding. So we're going to run uh, Composer, Require and Laravel UI. And now that's pulled in, we can run PHP Artisan UI. We're going to be using the view template here because we want to, within a view component, create a listener using Laravel Echo, which we'll be looking at a little bit later. I also want to go ahead and pass the auth flag so we get our authentication scaffolding set up as well. So let's run npm install and let's chain on npm run dev to compile all of our assets. Just wait for that to finish and then we can pull this open in the browser. Okay, so that's all done. Let's go ahead and run PHP Artisan Serve. We're just serving this locally here. And let's open this up in the browser and we should see the following, which is great. So I can go ahead and hit register now. Uh, register a an account, which we're gonna be using since we'll be placing the view component over on the dashboard. So let's just create an account real quick here and we should be signed in. And we're on our dashboard, which is like I said, where we're gonna be placing that view component, which is gonna listen for real-time events.